this is from the chapter quadratic equation exercise 4.4 .4. question number one find the nature of the roots of the flowing quadratic equations if the real root exits if the real roots exits find them means you are asking to find the nature of the roots here three quadratic equations are given here three equations are given here you have to find their nature these equations nature you have to find and in the nature if you get a real root if the real roots exist if you have real roots of this equation then you have to find the roots then you have to find the roots so before proceeding this solution you have to know one thing you have to know these three things for a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero this is a standard form of quadratic equation if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then two distinct real root for that equation you will get two different roots two roots will get two different roots you will get again second condition is that if the b square minus 4ac value is equal to 0 then you will get two roots but that two roots will be equal roots so written here two equal roots you will get two equal roots again if b square minus 4ac value is less than zero then you will not have any roots then no real roots you will not get any roots this is not exist it will not be exist so in this case you will get two roots in this case also you will get two equal roots so this case is exists means we will have roots in this case also you will have roots you have to know these things so now let us pick up the equation one the equation one is 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equal to 0 okay here a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus 3 c is equal to 5 since it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 now let us find the discriminant of this equation that means b square minus 4 a c is below therefore b square minus 4 a c value going to find b square what is the b value minus 3 square minus 4 a c minus 4 a c what is the a value 2 what is the c value 5 so b square minus 4ac value it will give b square minus 4ac value minus 3 square it will give 9 4 to the 8 8 5 the 40 you just see b square minus 4ac value gives 9 minus 40 it gives minus 31 which is less than 0 and I already told you if b square minus 4ac value is less than 0 then it will have no roots there will be no real roots so you need not to find the roots so in the question also you see if the real roots exists find them so it is not exist any roots so you need not to find the roots why not exist any real roots because b square minus 4 ac value is less than 0 that's why it not exists it does not exist any real roots now come for the next solution what is the next equation 3x square minus 4 root 3 plus 4 so here a value is 3 clearly ax square a value is 3 b value is 
sorry the equation is 4 root 3 x b x b value is minus 4 root 3 this is b value and c value is 4 therefore we can find b square minus 4 ac value so b square in b square minus 4 ac b square value is minus 4 root 3 this is b value b square minus 4 ac a value is 3 c value is 4 so what you will get from here so it gives 16 into 3 minus 4 square is 16 root 3 square is 3 and 4 into 3 into 4 you will get 48 and 16 3 to 48 minus 48 remaining same and it gives 0 so what you got b square minus 4 ac equal to 0 and you already know if b square minus 4 ac value is equal to 0 then the equation will have two equal roots this is the nature of the roots it has means the equation has two equal roots so it is exists or not yes it is exists because you will get it will uh, it has two equal roots means there is roots so it is exists so what is uh, uh, asking in the question if it is exists real roots exists then find them that means you have to find the roots but we already know it has two equal roots now you have to find these two equal roots so I'm going to find the roots of this uh, equation since it is exists by applying formula so what is the formula x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac by 2a by applying this formula I can find the roots the x value so I'm going to apply the formula minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac by 2a so let me fill up here minus b b value is minus 4 root 3 b square minus 4 root 3 4 ac a value is 3 c value is 4 by 2a a value is 3 so uh, it will give minus minus plus 4 root 3 plus minus root over so one thing you look here this value is already calculated here see exactly b square minus 4 ac value b square minus 4 ac value this is exactly already calculated here so here also we will give the zero this value we will get zero we already know it so i can fill up directly zero by 2a 2 into 3 it will be 6 so what it will give 4 root 3 by 6 one is in case of plus because plus minus okay let me extend it zero root, root over zero gives zero so in case of plus also so ultimately what it will give four root three by six if it is plus zero also the same value will get if you take minus also you will get the same so i'll take only one it can be reduced to two to the four two three to six so what you will get two root three by three therefore you can conclude therefore the two roots are 2 root 3 by 3 and 2 root 3 by 3 you will have a two equal roots one is in case of plus another is in case of minus 
so if you plus 0 also the same thing will get if minus 0 also will get the same thing but two case but you will get in case of plus also the same in case of minus also same two roots you will get so this is the two roots but remember in your answer book it may be different but the things are but in your answer sheet you may see this value are in different format that is no problem we also can convert in that format you can live like this now come to the next solution what is the third problem third equation 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0 let us take this equation here also see ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 it is in the standard form here a value is 2 b value is minus 6 and c value is 3 so now let us find b square minus 4ac value b square minus 4ac is equal to b square minus 4ac b value is replaced by minus 6 minus 4ac a value is replaced by 2 c value is by 3 now let us find this value 6 6 is 36 it will be plus 36 and you will get here 4 to the 16 16 3 the 48 sorry it will give 24 4 to the 8 8 3 the 24 and it will give 36 minus 24 it will give 12 and 12 is greater than 0 so what you have learned if b square minus 4 ac value is greater than 0 then the equation will have two distinct root so the nature of the roots will be like this it has two distinct roots means it will have two distinct real roots two different real roots that means it is axis it has two roots so it has roots it is axis so we need to find them we need to find the two roots so let us find by applying formula so what is the formula the formula is x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac by 2a so let us apply the formula replace the values I have replaced all the value minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4sc by 2a all the values are replaced here now it will give plus 6 minus minus plus plus minus is remaining same and this value has already calculated b square minus 4sc value has already calculated you will get 12 root over 12 it will give root over 12 and 2 to the 4 you can write here 4 now so this root 12 we can factorize the 12 like this 12 2 6 is 12 2 3 is 6 so root 12 can be rewrite like this root over 2 square 2 square into 3 and a square root of 2 square is 2 a square root of 3 cannot get we will live like this so instead of root 12 we can write 2 root 3 so here what shall i write 6 plus minus 2 root 3 in place of 12 i wrote 2 root 3 i have shown here how 12 is equal to 2 root 3 divided by 4 is remaining same and here we can take common 2 as a common so inside the bracket it will remain 2 3 is 6 plus minus is remaining same 2 is taken as common it remains root 3 below there is 4 and now you can reduce 2 1 2 2 2 is 4 so what you got 3 plus minus root 3 by 2 so 1 is in case of plus 3 root 3 by 2 and another is in case of minus 3 minus root 3 by 2 
so this is these are the two roots now you can give conclusion therefore the two roots are 3 plus root 3 by 2 and 3 minus root 3 by 2 thank you